Alright guys, welcome back. In today's question, we have two crates, uh, which each of them has a mass of 350 kilograms, and they are uh, placed in the bed of the 1400 kilogram pickup truck. We need to determine the reactions at each of the two uh, wheels. Uh, so in the air part, we need to find the reactions uh, in the rear wheels at point A and in the B part of the question, we need to find the reactions at uh, front wheels. Uh, so as always, we're gonna start with the free body diagram. So we have the weight of these two uh, crates, which we know is uh, 350 kilogram. Uh, let's show it with W. We have the weight of the truck. Let's show it with WT. Uh, we have two reactions uh, at wheels. Let's call the reaction at rear wheels 2A. So we show 2A, then we can find in each wheel because there are two in the back and two at the front. And for the front wheels, we'll call them 2B. And that would be pretty much all the forces that we have. And what we need to do is to find the weights of uh, the crates and the the pickup truck so let's start with the weight of the two crates we know it's three uh, 50 kilogram times acceleration of gravity which is 9.81 meter per uh, square second and this would give us 3.4335 newton so that was the weight of the crate and it will be similar for both and for the truck we know it's 1400 kilogram. Uh, we have the same thing times acceleration of gravity. And if we calculate this, we'll get 13.7340 and it will be kilonewton. And now we have this, we can start with our um, equilibrium equations. So let's start with the finding the reaction at rear wheels. And if we do the moment, if we start with the moment about point B, counterclockwise positive we can find the reaction at rear wheels so before that let's just find out all the distances that we have we, uh, we know this distance is 1.8 uh, meter this will be 1.2 meter and we know the distance between the two crate is 1.7 and another distance that we need which will be 2.8 minus 0.75 and this would give us 2.09. Now we have all the uh, information for and the distances that we need for finding the moment. Let's start with the moment of the uh, reaction at rear wheels. Uh, so we have the force 2A and the moment will be clockwise. So we have, so we'll have the moment of the uh, 2a, which we know is clockwise, so will be negative 2a times the distance, which is 1.a plus 1.2, and that would be 3. So that was the force for the for the rear wheels. Let's do uh, the left carrot. So this will be a counterclockwise moment, so it will be positive. We have W times this time distance is 1.7 plus 2.05. Uh, we also have the moment of the other grade, which is again counterclockwise, so positive. It will be W times this time we have 2.05 for the distance. And last one, we have the moment of the weight of the truck, which is WT, and the distance will be one point. Two. And this will be equal to zero. We already found the weight of uh, the crate and pickup truck. So the only unknown that we have in here will be A. And if we calculate this, we'll get a 6.07 kilonewton. And this would be the answer for the A part, which we need to find the uh, reactions at each wheel. So again, we have uh, two in each of the wheels because there are two wheels in the front and two wheels in the back. So that was the first part. In the second part, we need to find the uh, reactions at front wheels. We can go either with the moment of um, all the forces about point A, or we can go with the sum of all forces in Y direction. As we can see now that we have uh, the A force, 
uh, the only unknown in here would be the reaction at front wheel equals zero and in here we'll have uh, minus 3.4335 uh, times 2 we have 2 times a which was 6.07 and we have plus 2b equals 0 and from here we can find our b which will be 4.23 kilonewton and this would be the answer.